Hi, I'm Technically Alex, and yesterday Tech Syndicate uploaded a video showing people how to use OBS's multi-track audio system to only send copyrighted music to their stream and not their VOD. And the idea is that this gets around Twitch's uh, copyright content detection system and you won't get DMCA claims and you won't get your channel banned. The problem with this video is that it's 100% demonstrably false. You will 100% get DMCA claims on your content if you do this. It doesn't work, don't do it, and that's not me saying it. It's the developers of OBS, the software that tutorial is about, and Twitch themselves saying don't do this it doesn't work we can still detect the music stop doing this it's a bad idea and so i left a comment on the video in response basically reposting obs's statement about it and i i figured that you know that would be it you know maybe they'll take the video down maybe they'll pin a comment so everyone can see like hey this is probably not advisable whatever instead i woke up this morning to a reply to my comment from tech syndicate and it reads do it at your own risk fuck the riaa I will keep doing it and do not advise you do anything you aren't comfortable with. The problem is it's not a matter of comfort. It's a matter of the fact that what you're telling people to do is A against the wall and B doesn't work. And I take extreme issue with the against the wall part because I think as a content creator tech syndicate, you recognize that copyright law enables you to make a living or any sort of revenue from creating and selling stuff. And what I mean by creating and selling stuff is making videos and having ads run on them having a merch store, having your own music. It's very frustrating because it brings up this whole conversation that people like to have about, well, just because I took someone's copyrighted content and put it in my own doesn't mean I inherently added value to my content or made money from it. The thing is, copyright law protects against both the practical and the theoretical. So when you take someone else's content and you put it in your stream, if a viewer tunes in and they stick around because they hear a song they like, that's added value to your content. And we can't predict when that's going to happen. So copyright law as a blanket protection says, if you take someone's copyrighted content, there's a chance that when you put it in your content, you can make money from it. That's not okay. You have to pay them. That's what copyright law exists to do. And you can have a problem with the RIAA. I do. You cannot like that Twitch absolutely failed to address this problem sooner. I do. But what you can't, you can't tell people to do is break the law. You can't tell them copyright infringement's cool, man. Fuck the RIA, we're doing it in protest, man. Because you're still ripping off the person you're taking the content from. And Tech Syndicate makes music. They make YouTube videos, they have a merch store. And my question to you, Tech Syndicate, is would you be okay if I took all of the music you've ever released removed your branding and sold it as my own for profit and didn't give you any of the revenue? Would you be okay if I took your merch, bought it from your store, and sold, it as a, sold it at a markup as my own my own merch store and didn't give you the revenue? Would you be okay if I took all of your videos, cut out your logo and say, hey guys, here's my videos uh, on YouTube and you know, ran ads against them, made money off them and didn't give you a cut? No, right? You wouldn't be okay with that. So why are you okay with someone taking someone else's content and putting it in their Twitch stream and potentially profiting from it? It's a ridiculous argument to make. And people will always like to say, well, it doesn't add value, bro, blah, blah, blah. It's, you know, I'm not making money, blah, blah, blah. The end of the day is if it didn't matter to you, if that content wasn't valuable enough to you to include in your stream, you wouldn't be having this conversation. You'd be like, okay, it doesn't add value. I don't really need it. I can just use royalty free stuff. But no, by making this argument that you should use copy copyrighted music in your streams or telling people how to do it, you're basically saying this inherently does add value to my content and I need it to make my content as good as it can be. And that's what copyright law protects against. And if you got a problem, write your lawmaker, dude. I don't know. Anyway, that's been my time. I'm Alex. I, I know this video is a bit of a fever dream video and I apologize for it, but I just had to say this. You know, I had to get it off my chest and I had to put it out there so people know not to do something that's 100% going to get them in trouble and why they shouldn't do it. If you like this video, leave a like or a comment saying what you appreciated about it. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.